Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, we're starting the first prompt of Stitch With Me in 2024. This is a really fun series, an online workshop, where all previous prompts will be linked below. And in this case, it's the prep video for creating the snippet roll for this workshop. Now, you don't have to create a snippet roll. You can create a book, or you can create little ornaments or tags, whatever works for you. I'm doing a snippet roll this year for a number of reasons. I wanted something a little varied from previous fabric books, and I just think it's a fun technique to work with. Today's prompt is direction. So give some thought to this prompt and figure out how it affects you in your life. I can't wait to show you how I create my version of direction. So here goes. So to start my first prompt, I have the piece of snippet roll that I started as my blank. Now it's not big enough to finish the whole year for my project, but I will just add to it as I go. I still haven't decided how I'm going to start it, when I'm going to wrap it around. You can check that video for more information. And I think I'm going to put a like banner here that says stitch with me in 2024 or stitch some more in 2024, something like that. So I'm going to leave a good space so that I can do that. So I'll actually start my snippet roll maybe four to six inches into my piece. Now, before I start designing today's snippet roll, I went through my stash in the last week or so and found some things that I want to incorporate into it throughout the year. So these will be repetitive pieces. I can always go back in the future and add more if I find things that I want. But this color is my favorite, so I want to add that. I love having a neutral. This is just a little chiffon ribbon. Maybe I'll add that too. And then I have some very lightweight lace. This is like an acrylic lace uh, or a um, artificial fabric. It's not cotton or silk or anything like that. So it's nice and lightweight so that when I roll my roll, it will give nicely. And I cut a bunch of pieces, the maximum height of this roll, and I'll use them throughout the year. I also have set aside a bunch of colors of embroidery floss. I want to use this one up. I wasn't really crazy about it. I do like that it comes in a spool, but I didn't really like the anchor embroidery floss. So I have my other colors here. And I'm just gonna keep them in a dedicated box, which is this box here that has some stamps and something I might use for the end, some stabilizer for additional pieces. So that's how I'm gonna to start today. I like to have some supplies to help me get inspired. Now to get started for my actual prompt for today, for direction, I have a few ideas. So now for the prompt direction, I want something to indicate going forward and up. I have a little bit of a personal struggle going on, so I wanna make sure that I'm emphasizing the, the, the high road here, taking the high road, doing the work to get through it, and so on. And so that's the direction I'm gonna take. You can use arrows to signify that. I'm gonna use a gentle curve. I also have some very beautiful fabric. This was a gift. I love this with a little deer. So I think I'm gonna just use a patch of that in my work. And I chose some gray to match that fabric, just a little neutral. I also wanna stamp the prompt onto some fabric and then stitch that down. I haven't decided if I wanna fold that stitched piece over and make a label that sticks off my snippet roll or stitch it to my piece. So I have some fabric that matches this background and I just ironed it onto a piece of freezer paper. And now I'll take my stamps and my fabric ink pad and I keep it stored with a rubber band to keep that ink um, very usable. And so I'll stamp it onto my piece and then I'll go from there. So here I've stamped the word direction and um, I'm not sure if I wanna use it as a tab. I think actually I'm just gonna stitch it down here and I might back it with some of this fabric to tie it in. Maybe that's what I'll do with the gray. So I'll set that aside for now. Now I'll decide where I want it. I'm gonna leave a gap here. So I'll move these clips over and that's gonna be where I roll this part around my base and I add the stitch with me in 2024. So now I'm gonna start over here, move my piece here. Now is a good time to decide if I wanna make blocks for each of the months or if I want it to just overflow and be very organic. And I think that's the direction I'd like to go in. 
So now I just want to plan out my piece. I have my little word. I can figure where I want to put that. But I want to emphasize the direction. So I have this little heat erasable pen. I'm going to kind of create that direction. And I think I'm going to do a bunch of little stitches, kind of like a burrow, like a little dashed running stitch to emphasize that direction. And I'll use the colors of the embroidery floss that I have here. I also want to add my word, so I'll cut that down right away. And I really like that torn edge. So I'll cut that around all the sides. And now I'll play around with the additional fabric. I like that look. If you want to just use stitches for your piece, just do that. But I like that look, that added little bulk. And now for this piece, I want to just choose a portion that I really think is cute or appropriate. And I like this little deer section here. So I'll cut that out. And now I want to decide if I want to add additional pieces here. I have my colored fabric and I have some of that lace. I can add the lace or just a little portion of it. I think I'll just add a portion of it for now. And then I'll take a little of the blue and work that in here as well. I think I'm going to hold off on using the chiffon at this point, so I'll set this back in my box. And now, before I stitch everything down, I want to take that fabric. I really liked the, that fabric. And I want to take one of the designs on it and maybe stitch that, embroider that onto my piece. So I think I like this little leaf thing here. Maybe I'll just include a couple of those. So I'll just kind of draw that. And I'll do one here, maybe facing down this time. And I'll embroider that. And because this is an embroidery thing, if I feel like I want to add additional stitches, French knots, marks, I'll do that as well. I'll pin everything in place, stitch it down, and then come back and start doing the embroidery around my pieces. So I have a little fabric collage going on, my word, and I can get started. So I've stitched everything down here. I really like the way that looks. It kind of looks like postage stamps. It's starting to blend, become almost laminated with the fabric. So now I'm gonna take my thread here. I chose this color to start with. And I'm going to start here just stitching a running line all the way up. And I think I'll make the stitches closer together and tighter and then just loosen them as I go up. I think I'll really like the way that'll come across. And it'll just kind of fade into the next piece. So I'll start here. And I'll continue all the way up here. And then I'll do a few rows beneath it, going right over these pieces. I'll stop stitching when I come to them and just go over those pieces. So it kind of looks just like a flow of water, a direction. So here's my direction stitched in. And now I'm going to go in there with this color thread. It's a neutral, which is what I want to pick up this color. And I'm going to stitch some of these leaves. And I might add additional marks, little stitches, all around the piece as well. So I added all my stitches and I took my iron and removed that ink where I made my sketch here. And this is my first prompt. Now there's a lot of empty space. I could go in there and fill it in, but what I think I'll do is wait and with the future prompts, I might double back and add, maybe incorporate a different color if I'm using that in the future, or maybe a little swatch of fabric. I did want to show you one thing. So here's the back of my piece. And I made this prompt a little longer than I kind of thought I would. So you can see where the stabilizer stops. Now I'm going to just take a piece of stabilizer and add it to the back. It's not going to hurt it that it isn't on the stabilizer. It's just more for me, it's much easier to stitch through the stabilizer in addition to the fabric. It gives it a little more body. So I'll continue to add pieces and I'll make sure that I have the stabilizer on the back. So that's my first prompt for 2024. So that's how I create the prompt direction. It's the first prompt in the snippet roll, and I think it's really fun to leave open spaces that I can continue to add to them as the series progresses. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for joining me today.